Hello everyone, welcome to EliteWaveTestForecast.com YouTube channel. My name is Henry. Today is Wednesday, July the 10th, 2019. The time is 3 a.m. GMT. So today we will be looking at the chart of the pound dollars. This is a 60 minutes chart. Uh, we can see right here uh, this uh, high here on June 25th uh, is being called as a wave 4 at 127.84. And then since then the pair has continued to extend lower, right? You can see the extension lower here is in the form of an impulse. Uh, we got this one, two, three, four, five, and uh, subdivision of the three is also a five waves here. Subdivision of the five is also in a uh, <coughs> in a five waves, right? So we are looking for the pound dollars here to soon uh, finish this five waves down. Now, as a rule of thumb, we don't really like picking or fading of five waves. So, in other words, uh, just because the chart is calling something like this, is not necessarily something that uh, people should buy, right? Because it's not wise to uh, to trade and to fade a five waves move uh, as a general principle. Okay, and uh, but the subdivision here is looking almost completed. So we are looking for this five ways to finish. Then when that five ways is finished, it will end with one of five, right? So this is the subdivision of with five in the red, and this is potentially only with one of five, right? Only with one of five. If that's the case, then uh, after we finish this five ways down, we should be bouncing in three waves to correct this entire five ways move, all right? So there is bounce here as a zigzag or as another structure, but some sort of pullback or some sort of bounce in the wave two, and then as far as that bounce stays below 127.80, all right, we can see more downside in the wave three of five, all right. So now let's take a look at a couple of um, alternatives, all right, so that you guys are aware of the pound dollars. <coughs> if we look at the larger degree. Uh, let me start by looking at the um, daily chart first. Now you can see right here daily chart. Uh, this is where we are now, obviously. And uh, as we saw it before in the uh, one hour chart, this is called to be a. This is called to be with four here, okay, in 127.84. So that means this one. I believe is this one is 127.84 here. So this is your wave four. So that means this is uh, your wave. It's either here uh, with a flat here A B C or it's here, right? Uh, either way, and then um, we got a one and two somewhere here, and this can be counted as some sort of a diagonal here. So we have one, two, three, four, five in the larger degree, right? From uh, March, March 14, 2019. <coughs> All right. So we have a uh, another five ways down uh, from March 14, and we are within the wave five, and then within the wave five, possibly we are only ending with one of five. So we have a two of five, three of five, uh, four of five, five of five before we end this entire move. Now, a couple of very interesting thing. Uh, if we are looking at the uh, longer term here, just kind of uh, to get some ideas, what is possible and what could be in the alternate. <coughs> well, in the shorter cycle first, the alternate is simple. The alternate suggests that um, instead of ending with one of five, this can be your entire with five, right? So instead of ending with one of five here, like this. So instead of ending with one of five, uh, so the one here is the the one lower degree than the four in red. This could be your entire wave five. So if that's the case, then we are no longer going to be only correcting this cycle and then lower again. But we would rather, I mean, but that means the rally, the bounce is going to be correcting this whole thing, right? Is correcting this whole thing if this is ending with 5, which is the alternate, right? So that suggests some sort of massive uh, um, kind of uh, 
change in the direction, right? I mean, it's either maybe because the Fed uh, cuts the rate, but the market has expected that. So probably if you got some news about the Brexit or something like that, then could be uh, good news about the Brexit, then could be the pound is rallying, right? Now, uh, another couple of interesting thing here, if we are looking at the longer term here, now you notice here that uh, recently we broke below this previous low here on the daily, right? So uh, this one, without you know knowing the label, this one looks impulsive. This one looks impulsive, and this can be counted, let's say, as a f uh, expanded flat like this. So if you count this as with one or with A, this is with two or with B, then we technically broke below the previous low here, confirming that it is a lower low, right? And so if you mention the 100% extension, you notice here it can potentially go to extend lower to uh, to as low as uh, to as low as this 1.1647, right? 1.1647 is the target on the downside. Now, so that suggests that uh, the direction, the favor direction is still extending lower but what is really very interesting with the pound here is this idea this idea that um, on the weekly here yes even though we broke below here and showing what looks like a lower low here the more really really interesting level here for us is actually this one the October 2016 low this is really very interesting right the October 2016 low now because if we do get a break below 2016 low you can see right here uh, this is when all the uh, um, I'm not sure when the brexit uh, thing is starting to happen probably not as far as far as 2007 probably is too far but you can see right here this pullback this decline on the weekly that definitely looks an impulse right and then you get a correction and then you can technically say this is another five waves so now <clears throat> that's why this is really the key right you can say well this is a ABC right this is an ABC and end it here end it here and if that's the case we can really extend higher now what if though what if pound is actually able to break below 2016 the implication is quite uh, quite big right because if that's the case, then you gotta let's say this is an A, this is a B, right? If you measure the hundred percent extension, it has not reached the hundred percent, but the hundred percent is below parity, right? Zero point ninety six. Now we have never been below parity in the history, I believe. Let me look at this. All the way back to nineteen eighty five, this is above parity. So this is technically never happened in the entire history of the pound dollars, right? So if it breaks below 2016, that will suggest that, okay, you got a A, you got a B, and then this is only with one of C, this is two of C, and we got a three, four, five. The implication is extremely big, right? For something like that to happen, it's got to be really, 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 really bad things happening with the UK, right? Uh, and I suspect if that is going to happen probably is because of no deal Brexit then that could potentially happen it really gonna get crushed and goes to below parity so the lowest in the history right but then because the implication is so so big we need to be careful right because is it really gonna break below 2016 or not now of course if we look at the uh, daily before this extension lower here even though it breaks below here but the extension 116 the 100 percent extension from april 17 right from april 17 here um 116 is going to break below october 2016 because october 2016 is only 119 right so that's why we got to be a little bit cautious in the sense that yes we can see more downside but 
but remember if we actually break below 119 that's really really bearish for the pound dollars right that's really bearish for the pound dollars the alternate then is to suggest that nah this is not going to happen the pound is not going to be so weak below parity the alternate then becomes we finish this a b c on the daily and we already have five ways right we finish this a b c then we hold 2016 low and starts to completely reverse that will be in the alternate right that will be in the alternate so really in the longer term this 2016 low is really really key all right it's really key and then uh in the sort of the medium term now now in the shorter cycle is simple in the shorter cycle you know no need to think too much about it uh, in the shorter cycle that is simple uh, we are about to end the five ways down that's it and then from there we can get a three is bounce so that's shorter cycle is very simple now uh, just telling you the alternate a couple of things that we need to understand uh, okay we can extend lower within the wave five sure because we broke below the previous low so we can get extension lower but uh, we need to keep in mind that alternate these five waves could be ending already here with five instead of with 105 and then even worse because it's it's hard to pick the low right i mean if this is with five technically it could also end your abc and then starts to really reverse very hard uh right if this is abc and we hold above 2016 then now technically you can you could have ended this five ways and you could have counted this as an abc with a C that is truncated, it does not go to 100% because, like I said, if it goes to 100%, 116 that will break below this uh, critical level uh, in the October 2016 low. Okay, guys. So, uh, so for now, I think simple uh, should be looking for the response. Then, if this is holding, we can extend lower again within the wave five. If this breaks, if this pivot gives up, then you got to be careful because then. Uh, we might have ended five ways down and even worse we might have ended from the entire move as an ABC okay so I hope that uh, this video is uh, helpful and you can understand what uh, we're explaining and uh, for further analysis like this in other pairs forex pairs indices stocks commodities uh, feel free to uh, try our service we have 14 days free trial and the link is provided in the description of the video below in the YouTube. And see you all again uh, next time and have a nice day everyone.